In this video, I'll explain the G84 right-handed tapping cycle. Shown here is a half-inch 13 tap, tapping holes in a mild steel plate. When programming a tap, the spindle speed and feed must be synchronized or the thread will be stripped. Floating tapping holders, as shown here, are often used to help compensate for small errors in the synchronization. The feed rate for a tap must be the RPM times the pitch. To make the calculation easy for inch threads, add a zero to the number of threads per inch. This will be the RPM, and then the feed will always be 10 inches per minute. Typically, this is a bit slow, but it's easy to double or triple. For example, if I spin the half inch 13 tap at 130 revolutions per minute, then the feed will be 10 inches per minute. Or if I spin the tap at 260, the feed will be 20. Or if the RPM is 390, the feed will be 30. With the right-handed tapping cycle, the spindle will spin clockwise while the tool feeds at the specified feed rate from the R-plane to the program Z depth. Once at depth, the spindle will reverse and feed out of the hole to the R-plane. This pattern will be repeated for every X and Y location program between the G84 line and the G80. When a left-handed thread is required, a G74 is programmed. For this cycle, the spindle will spin counterclockwise while the tool feeds from the R-plane to the program depth, at which point it will reverse to spin clockwise while it feeds out of the hole. When coding the G84 cycle, the Z, R, and F are the only parameters required. In this case, the G84 will tap the 15 1 8 MPT holes whose location is stored in the subprogram 1800. The R level must set the tool high enough above the top of the hole to allow time for the speed and feed to synchronize. Typically, three times the pitch is sufficient. Next, the boring cycles will be programmed.